think from the very beginning, when Dad started the company, he put a lot of work into the name of the company. And then Sterling um, came from like having a Sterling reputation and Sterling character, and that's something that's been part of the core of the business since the very beginning. Uh, I've been in business 28 years in Whatcom County. I started went out on my own in 2003 and it was just going to be me and I was going to do my own thing and then people started contacting me and wanted to join the company and so I said okay so since then we've grown into a, a fairly large company of almost 30 brokers and two offices plus uh, two small construction offices and we have uh, uh, we cover all of uh, Whatcom County, Skagit County, and beyond in real estate. And we have uh, uh, 11 uh, projects, home construction projects, underway in some fashion. We've built about 55 houses in the last 15 years. I work here because I feel like this company has integrity. I like the experience and the career of our mentor, our owner, Phil Dyer, and uh, it's a small family-owned um, company, and he is also a veteran, veteran-owned company, and I do care about that. And I feel like their style is to build bridges and um, not to just make a sale, but it's to uh, add value by uh, really caring about people and taking good care of them so that they'll come back to us again. We don't have franchise fees and so that gives our brokers a little extra money so every commission uh, people make a donation and we support uh, an elementary school that I built in Cambodia in 2005 and it has uh, between three and four hundred students every year depending upon uh, the monsoons and the seasons, and we are the only support that company gets. We, t we fully sustain that school. And then the other half of our donations go to the Homeport Learning Center in Bellingham for 24 at-risk high school students from all the high schools in the county. And they teach them to uh, use uh, and uh, uh, power tools and hand tools and they build and repair wooden boats and do other wooden construction projects and then they go to school half the day and get their GED and then it keeps them uh, gets them back on track and uh, hopefully keeps them keeps them out of drugs and gives them a purpose. I've always found Phil has been such a down-to-earth just honest very hard-working man uh, who really cares about the community and cares about the people that he, he serves. I want to thank everybody in the chamber who voted us for the member of the month. Uh, we're delighted uh, to be in Ferndale and of all the different uh, uh, groups that I work with and other, other cities and stuff and especially the city government this is for us the easiest place that we do business. Uh, if I have a question or need something from the city, I go there, I get all the support and help I need, and uh, they're just great to work with. And we do as much business with Ferndale businesses and companies that, that we can. Uh, it's just a, a great hometown feeling for us, and we love being here.